In horses suffering from asthma, the findings obtained through auscultation are integral components of several clinical scoring systems designed to assess the severity of the condition. In fact, auscultation contributes 9 out of 23 points to a widely recognized weighted clinical score. Despite its established role, the routine auscultation of breath sounds encounters three principal limitations. Firstly, brief, rapidly changing, or highly localized auditory events might escape detection. Secondly, the accurate classification of breath sounds is susceptible to biases and subjective interpretations. Thirdly, a universally standardized and accepted terminology for respiratory sounds remains absent in veterinary medicine. Even in human medicine, where the Computerized Respiratory Sound Analysis Guidelines Project aimed to address this, the characterization of lung sounds continues to be a subject of ongoing discussion. Generally, abnormal or adventitious sounds are categorized into crackles and wheezes. Wheezes are defined as prolonged, musical tones resulting from the passage of air through constricted airways. Crackles, on the other hand, are short, discontinuous sounds that can be further subclassified as fine or coarse. Fine crackles are thought to arise from the reopening of collapsed air passages, while coarse crackles, also known as rattles or mucus sounds heard over the trachea, are believed to be produced by the movement of air through secretions. It's also noted that some horses with severe asthma may exhibit quiet areas within their lung fields. Recognizing these limitations, the recording and computerized analysis of lung sounds in humans have garnered considerable attention over recent decades, culminating in the development of electronic stethoscopes enhanced by artificial intelligence for automated diagnoses. The novel digital auscultation device enabled the assessment of respiratory variables and the quantification of abnormal lung sounds in healthy and asthmatic horses. It also allowed for the differentiation between healthy control horses and those with severe equine asthma in exacerbation, where all abnormal lung sounds were markedly increased. By overcoming some of the limitations inherent in traditional auscultation methods, this digital approach has the potential to provide more accurate and objective assessments of respiratory conditions in horses, potentially aiding in the diagnosis, monitoring, and management of equine asthma.